The first thing you need is a float base or size. The most commonly used are carrageenan and methyl cell. Methyl cell is less expensive, quicker to make, and lasts longer without spoiling. So let's use it. Fill your container with one to two inches of size. Splash is great for marbling. Start with the first color and drop it onto the surface of the methyl cell. Notice how it expands. Fill the surface. Watch them expand. Keep adding more colors. That should be enough. I'll just take a toothpick and swirl it through the design. Just go back and forth and be creative. I made this marbling comb out of toothpicks and a piece of corrugated cardboard. Take your paper and lay it gently down from one end so that it picks up the colors. Just gently tap it down. Just let it sit there for a little bit to soak in the color. Lift it slowly from one end to let the methacel drip off. Take a piece of newsprint and skim across the surface to clean it off. And you're ready for another print. Here's a fun project to make with the marble paper we just made. Start with a blue piece of construction paper for the background. Take a sheet of marble paper, find patterns that look like a fish's body. Cut out the shapes that you find. Glue the shapes to the background. Don't glue them flat. Give them some dimension. Do the same for the tail and fins.
Fold and crease the fins and tails to add dimension before you glue them on. Add a neon wiggle eye to finish.